The Sheck Report, with Dave Damashek reporting. Damashek here. What's happening there, fellas? What's, What's happening? Up, Dave? What Dave? Wait, in the book, so let's get right to it. Just remember, players and coaches, don't get angry at me if I call your name. Ultimately, I didn't do this to you. You did this to you. Let it begin! Why he got that hot voice like he said? And we'll start it at number three. The QBs taken in the first round of the Ott 4 draft. Who, if you didn't notice, went over the entire weekend. Eli, the first overall pick that year, and Phil, the seventh overall, haven't won a single game all season long. He's been watching too now, things job. aren't as severe for the 11th overall Big Ben and his team, but it's weird when they go on the road and play mediocre teams. The Bears, look at them, literally did not want to get into the end zone, and they still beat the Steelers. Cam Newton, the first overall pick a few years later, had a tough weekend himself, punctuated by this post-game getup, it brings me to this. Who wore it best? <laughs> was it Cam? Stop. Was it Boss Shit. Hog? Shit. Boss stop. Hog. Cam. No, no, I won't stop. It's the creepy guy from The Untouchables. Oh. And also, of course, Lady Gaga. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. God. Who God. wore it best? God. Not Cam. Not Cam. I'm going to go with Gaga. I got to go no. Lady Gaga. Trick question. They all wore it best. Look at that. Terrific. <laughs> all right, on to number two here. And listen, it was an upside-down weekend of pro football. The Jets, the Raiders, sorry, David Carr, right. Case Keenum. But I think the weekend is best defined by this bizarro play by former college basketball player Jimmy Graham. Take a look at this. In Nashville, Tennessee, there he is, catching the ball like he does. Super what? athlete. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Let's see no, what no, happened. No. Let's see it one more time He's supposed here. To dive. What's he? I'm going to oh. kick you. No, I'm not. He forgot. That guy, that guy jumps like Guy Taylor catches. Am I right? Oh, wow. and I, that, that was silly. that was unnecessary. I don't wow. even know where that came from. I'm sorry, whoever wrote that. At number one, let's move wow. on here to the brown paper We're bag. We're gonna take this segment out. We're gonna take this segment out. I think we should take that one out. It goes Those to the coach of the Jaguars, or as they say in England, the Jaguars. Doug Marone up 37 points on the poor Ravens late in the third. What does he do? He tries a fake punt. I like it. Total hey, disrespect. Coach, Total this disrespect. is the I like NFL. It. They're not posters to impress by running up the score. I love and it. by the way, if any Florida coach is going to do that sort of thing, leave it to Steve Spurrier, would what, you? What the Spurrier was. I love it. You know it. what? You get this, Doug Marone. Till nah. next time, try not to embarrass yourselves. No, they you know would. what? I think we need a little positivity. I don't want to go on that note. Let's send it over to Jake Elliott in Philly, trying to win it from 61 yards. The rookie does it, and it's called by Spanish play-by-play man, his real name, Ricky Ricardo. Take it away, Jake. Wow. Jake Elliott, para ganar el partido, le mete el pie. Distancia, mi dirección. Sí, señor! 